quite different to how this appears in CRM terms. Um, now there's a header object which contains the majority of the data. So um, we can see um, what's available in the header object here. I don't know if this is my CRM system being slow. So you can see how um, business partners appear as they do in CRM in these header objects. And, and these are the things which we can actually push out to the phone. So what we're just going to do is to take an example of what we can see in CRM. Um, so we've got um, Arabian Estates, a nice British place, I don't know where that is. Um, <laughs> and um, this is the stuff which you can see in CRM. And what I'm now going to do is uh, attach the iPad up. And um, I don't know if it's going to work on the screen resolution. We'll see. Um, we'll then see what's available on the iPad and we'll choose something which we want to push out. So when they built this app for the iPad, they only built out the real basics into the main screens. Anyhow, uh, so the answer to the question on development is um, I can show you how to push out a custom field in this. It's just some app up. Simple as that. Um, and if you can write CRM app up, you can write this stuff. So if you've got CRM developers that have done customization, you can reuse those guys to push this stuff up. And that's, that's, I guess, the point. So it's existing skills. Now, if you want to make, big, if you want to make major screen changes, you've got to use the SDK. So you'll make your changes to your BAPI wrappers, or you'll write new BAPI wrappers, you'll generate a new ESMA, that will generate new MBOs, and you relink that with the existing app, and then you make the changes in Xcode or wherever. So there's a lot more involved when you want to do that, or if you want to write your own. Um, and, and I don't think anyone has written any yet. We're just about to get the SDK um, out here soon. Um, so. What I'm expecting in tech to be able to do is to show you how to actually make a change to a BAPI wrapper and push it right out to the device. And that's a whole different proposition. But you um, never write your own iPad app. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to write your own code. So you don't have to write the business logic code and the data objects. You have to write the screens. Do you have to do object C? You, you definitely, yeah. So, you, I mean, and you've got two choices when, when you choose a platform. And actually, the difference between Cyclone and Sybase is really is really obvious here. So Cyclo have said actually we don't want people to write any code on the platform, so what we're going to do is we're going to produce template apps which then push config out. Um, so if you're, you're writing on the Cyclo platform, you never write in that native uh, platform. You use their agentry development platform to drag and drop objects. Um, the, the great thing about that is you just need to learn the agentry platform. The bad thing about that is that of course you need to have people with agentry skills wherever they are. Um, and there aren't very many of them. But in addition to that, you can only support the things which are supported across the commonality <coughs> platforms in which, um, in which Cyclo actually supports. So let's suppose we get a new funky digital compass in our devices. We have to wait until Cyclo support that. On the flip side, on the, on the sideways side, you've got a plus side that uh, you can use your existing developers and you can use whatever the device supports. And the negative side, that you've got to do some development on each of those platforms and it's native. So, there are pros and cons to both approaches. I don't, I don't think there's a right or a wrong. So the um, slide-based platform doesn't sort of abstract any of the UI, it's just the data management and the push capabilities and things like that. Uh, that's actually the really difficult stuff as well, yeah. in, in my experience at least. Um, if we um, then take this, so we've got a package called CRM Sales Analytics Smartphone uh, in SE80, and, we, and there is an existing enhanced support that exists. Um, we can go to here. CRM and the network is all very slow. Um, so all we need to do here is create an implementation point for the uh, enhancement spot here. And I'm just going to take some template template code to drop into it because um, I'm lazy. So the great thing about this is anything uh, that you can drop into, from, you can get out of CRM, you can push out to the device, it doesn't matter where it is.